Welcome to Quick Casting. This is Mike Vincent. Quick Casting are short two minute to five minute videos to give you insights on how to benchmark, analyze, monitor, and forecast the freight markets utilizing the tools and data sets within Sonar. So let's get started. We're going to look at simple charting today. So when you first come into Sonar, you get into the, the global pages. So if you click open up the menu on the left hand side add a page which I'm going to do I'm going to call it quick casting save and it will bring me an open blank dashboard for uh, which I can add widgets so as soon as that comes up we're going to do this here it is so it's highlighted here on the left side quick casting and a blank dashboard let me gain some real estate up in the upper right hand corner you have this menu click on the menu you can add any of these widgets now going into chart right here we click on this and it brings me up a blank chart in the upper left hand corner I can enter symbols I can start typing out different words I can look at the tree map here and see the different categories we are going to stick with um, we are going to stick with the uh, outbound tender volumes today, which are under the most uh, uh, most popular trucking indices right here. And you can see this by scrolling down outbound tender volume index. I can click on this, and I can go through I can go through the different uh, categories that are here and pick those that I want, or I can just add my symbol up in the upper left hand corner if I if I like. So that's what I'm going to do to save time. OTV. Uh, OTVI.USA is what we're going to look at and that's the outbound tender volume index for the United States. Now it's indexed on March 1st, 2018 and uh, so it's not the exact number of loads but it was based at 10,000 on March uh, 1st, 2018 as I said and you can see that we're well above that right now. You can see this trend. Now you see the time frame across the bottom. I can change that uh, across this bottom area here. I can use specific dates if I want to, start and end dates, or I can use these one year, five year, all, year to date, six month, three month, one month, whatever I want to look at. Let's look at the three month here real quick. So if we're looking at the three month, the other things that I can do is look at the year over year. You've heard a lot of people talking about the year over year change. So the seasonality under display is right here second down to seasonality I can pick the number of years up to three right now let's just do two to make it simple I'm gonna click on the uh, button there and it will give me uh, year over year where we're at so we're looking at 2017 into 18 right here and then uh, we have the uh, 2019 and now 2020 and we can see this year over year change so that's a simple way to just look at the year over year seasonality change in OTVI. Now one quick note here, a professional tip if you will, this icon here, draw, will open up a whole new menu on the left hand side. So let's look at one real quick. So I click on this, it opens up this select a tool, select tool. One of my favorites is if I scroll down is a trend line. If I click this trend line, now I've got this crosshair and I can look at growth from certain uh, levels. So if I look at 2018, which was a landmark year, I can click here and draw it up, click, and now I know that we are 23.62% above 2018, the uh, uh, same time frame. If I click, right click, I can remove this and I can look at from 2019, we are actually up at this particular moment 27.97%. So quick charting, year over year, uh, looking at the different changes uh, seasonality wise, and then a quick pro tip there for you. See you next time, peace and love.